Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released Windows 10 22H2 to the release preview channel insiders who are on Windows 10. And this is with the update KB5035941. And this update is our next optional bug fix C release update, which is now undergoing its final testing. So that means that we can expect this update to roll out, I would suggest, starting Tuesday the 26th. It might come next week, I doubt that, but if it doesn't come next week, I'm sure we'll see KB5035941 for Windows 10 22H2 rolling out Tuesday the 26th of March 2024. And the optional bug fix C release updates are just that, they are optional, so you don't have to install this. And when it rolls out to stable, and if you don't install it, it will roll out to the following month for the April Patch Tuesday and with the April Patch Tuesday security update. Now, with this next optional update, we actually get three new features. And the first one has actually been featured before in the release preview channel and is still on a control rollout where Microsoft says this update adds Windows Spotlight to your desktop background. And as many of you will know who are familiar with Windows 11, uh, the feature displays new images as your desktop wallpaper. And if you want to know more about an image, you click on, uh, you click or tap the learn more button, which takes you over to Bing in Microsoft Edge, where you can check up a little bit more info regarding the Spotlight image of the day. Now, I personally like Windows Spotlight. Um, it's very similar to the Bing image of the day that you can download the Bing wallpaper image of the day for Windows 10. And to turn this feature on, if and when it rolls out um, with the um, optional update uh, when it comes to stable, is how you do this is you just head to your settings, you head to personalization, you head to, well, it'll open on the background page by default um, for personalization. And yeah, you'll see your different background and over and above picture, solid color and slideshow we will now see Windows Spotlight, which means that Spotlight image won't just be displayed now on the lock screen. It will also be displayed now on the desktop. And this, just take note though, Microsoft says this feature might not be available to all users because it will roll out gradually. So I think there's a good chance that most will not see this feature um, in the next week or two because this, this was mentioned a month ago in release preview and it still hasn't rolled out yet. But nonetheless, um, it adds Windows Spotlight to your desktop and it'll be interesting to see if that actually makes it uh, into my region with this next update. Now the next uh, new feature is the update adds more content to your lock screen, which may or may not be a good addition. Obviously that's open to debate. So over and above the weather, which you can see on your lock screen. So if you just head to that page, if you have weather for your lock screen, you will now see sports, traffic, and finance content that will, will appear on the lock screen. But the good news with this is when this update rolls out, you will have the ability to turn this feature off by going to your settings, personalization, lock screen page, and there will be an option to turn sports, traffic, and finance content off, which I always think is a good move because obviously a lot of users could consider that to be bloat and clutter. So that's a nice move. And then I'm just going to mention the... Uh, next and the third new feature because it's mainly affecting RT admins but it is listed so I'm just going to mention it. The update affects Windows Hello for business. RT admins can now use mobile device management MDM to turn off the prompt that appears when users sign into an enter join machine. So as mentioned that's mainly applying to enterprises and RT administrators. Now something else to take note of is that um, when you sign in after this update has been installed, you might see a message or what I would just consider to be a prompt or a nag ad, as I also refer to these, that invites you to upgrade to Windows 11. This message only appears if your device is eligible for an upgrade. And this is also on a controlled feature rollout. And this is the so-called prompt or nag ad, which I have featured previously on this channel. So um, if your device does meet the system requirements to be upgraded after this update, when um, when you log in, uh, when you sign in, you might see this message to upgrade to Windows 11. So I'm sure that's also going to be met with a little bit of debate in certain circles. Now, when the update does roll out, the 
OS build for Windows 10 version 22H2 will be bumped up to 19045.4233 or somewhere in that point release vicinity. And if you do want to stick around, because this is a bug fix update, I've mentioned the key highlights, but if you do want to stick around, uh, just to go through some of the other bug fixes, I've just pulled a couple out that you may be interested in. Now, apparently this update supports daylight saving time changes in three regions. It supports daylight saving times, DST changes in Palestine, Kazakhstan, and Samoa. And it also changes the English name of the former Republic of Turkey. Apparently, the update addresses an issue that affects some apps that had stopped responding. So I think that's a nice move. That's a bit of a stability improvement. And the update addresses an issue that stops some apps and features from being available. This occurs after you upgrade to Windows 11. And then the second last one, just to mention for this video, the update addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Edge. Apparently, it was failing to open on Surface Hub. And the update addresses an issue that affects the touch keyboard. It does not open sometimes. And that's quite a common bug that gets addressed from quite regularly by Microsoft regarding the touch keyboard not opening sometimes. So obviously, they're battling to fix that one. Now, I can already hear the big question here. And the big question is, is there a fix for the update that rolled out earlier this year for Windows 10 machines that's been causing a lot of headaches for a lot of users and the update is this update KB503441 which um, was failing to install and generating an error code where the recovery partition was too small on some devices and it was obviously failing to install because of that and generating the error code and I've posted a whole playlist on this and I'll leave the playlist for this update 503441 in the end screen of this video so the big one here is no there is no fix at this stage in the release preview channel for this update failing to install generating an error so it's a bit strange to me why Microsoft is not pushing out an official update for this because as I've posted previously they did say that they were working on an update um, to fix the problems generated by this update that rolled out early January this year 2024 but um, this obviously is still in release preview it hasn't made its way yet to stable but when it does hopefully Microsoft would have popped that update in to address um, the issue with 503441 but no news of that currently so that's more or less what we can expect to see from KB5035941 which is running out over the next week or two for Windows 10 22H2 which will be our next optional bug fix C release update so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one